Hi everybody, it's Rue from Rue's World. Um, it's my husband's birthday next week, but I gave this to him early. It was uh, my very first junk journal. In fact, the first journal that I've made, period. Um, had never made one before. And uh, it's all made, the basis of it is made out of uh, craft envelopes. And uh, this was a bag that I had that I just uh, glossy accented it onto. He really likes the the shiny look, um, so that's what I, I that's why I decided to make it so shiny. Um, the other thing <laughs> was that um, he he likes uh, the steampunk stuff and also kind of mad scientist things. So he's he. Uh, makes computers, but back in the day, I'm sure he would have been making other kind of things. These are just some bookmarks that are on there. And, uh, I'll let you, I'll show you, um, what it's like. It's very small. It's not real big. You can see. Um, and it, he's not going to journal in it. He just gonna put it on his shelf at work, but it has the ability that you could journal in it if you wish. So I had just, uh, put, punch that hole through with, I had these gears that I'd gotten somewhere. I don't remember where. I don't wish. I think wish.com. So anyway, this is um, the way that I wanted it to look. I was kind of happy with how it turned out because I wanted it to have a really kind of rough look on the inside. Like it had been in a workshop somewhere and, you know, had been thumb thumbed through and all that sort of thing. So... You start here, he's, we've got some pockets, Oop, like this, just, um, I forget what ephemera collection that's from, I, boy, I don't remember, um, this was just printed off of the internet, and he really likes Star Trek, so I thought that was a cool steampunk kind of ship, it kind of looks like the Starship Enterprise, and it's just like a little flip, and... And over here, just some random things you could, uh, if you wanted to journal across it, you could. He really likes birds, too. He feeds birds out in the backyard, so I thought that was a cute addition to it. Um, we have a Boston Terrier, Miss Lulu, and this was actually... I had this and made this one for him. I, for, I think this was just off a regular um, paper, but on the back I covered it and put other, oops, sorry, put other um, little ones on there. So it's got a belly band there, it goes across. Um, this is just tacked on with a brad, but you can move it and take the things out. And over here, that's a pocket. This one's a pocket. Sorry. This one's a pocket. This one I did a fold over on. And behind here I actually have um, feathers collected. Um, so I'm not going to open it up because I don't want them to all fall out. This was a print that I had gotten um, off of the internet. It was on a free site. I don't remember what it was. But um, I shimmered it. And then I roughly put the gold embossing on it. I wanted it to have a real kind of rough look like it had been in a book for a long time. Um, that's tea stained paper. Uh, a little bit more, a little bit more to the, um, steampunk there and there. And this was my first flip I did and I flip it out and there's, um, just some other steampunk stuff. And then this part here is... I cannot imagine how the clockwork of the universe can exist without a clockmaker. And I, I just sewed around it so that it would look kind of interesting. Have some dimension to it. And that's just in a pocket. And some more steampunk kind of stuff. Another pocket. With the old photo and mail. Um, another spot for journaling with nothing really on it. Um, the map of London. There's a bunch of things on here that if you wanted to journal, you could, because you can take all these cards out. 
journal on the back of them. Put that. I made that one on the steam or on the tea stained paper. Um, that's a Tim Holtz stamp, and that one I don't know what it is, but it's another. And then uh, another belly band here, and some more cards in the back. And if you had wanted to, you could actually go ahead and use those for um, journaling. And that's our dog. And the way that I made that <laughs> was kind of interesting. Um, I went ahead and I printed this on plain paper. Um, no, maybe it was 65 pound weight. Maybe it was. I think it might have been. Anyway, I printed it, got it wet. Um, but when I printed it, I printed it in like a... Um, like a black and white antique but when I got it wet you can see there's a little bit of purples and spots then I uh, glossy accented it and then on top of the glossy accent I just threw on some embossing powder because I wanted it to look sort of like just messy and so I was really happy with how it turned out um, actually and it looks better in person than there on the on the um, camera and just a little, you know, tag in there. And then the back. A little calendar and picture. And um, just held on the back with, a, with another cog. And that was my first um, junk journal. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, Ed really liked it. So that's what mattered the most. Um... Next one, I think I'm going to make it uh, more refined and uh, more of a fem feminine one. So when I get that one around, I'll, I'll put it on. I'm not good at process videos because I just have, I don't have a way to film except for my camera on my phone. And um, I just, I find it difficult. So perhaps down the road, I'll figure out a way that I can make um, some process videos of different things too. Well, thanks for coming by Rue's World. And have a great weekend.